Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back to finally finish the story and talk about the last two units that are gonna be on the Guda Guda pickup summons. And that's gonna be today's video. So let's get right into it. Literally releasing right before their banner even comes out, maybe like an hour or two <laughs> beforehand. Really last bit stuff here. The last two we're gonna be talking about are uh, Sakamoto, Ryoma, and Oryu, along with uh, Old Man Lee over here who was an addition to this banner to the NA version because I don't believe the JP version had it and the reason I think that is because they don't have him here on the generic rate of servants. <laughs> so that leads me to believe that he was not originally featured and they added him in there. So we'll start with Sakamoto Ryoma. Uh, or he might have actually been. He's right there. Why isn't he here? It's silly. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know actually. Sorry if, uh, if I'm a little bit out of it. I'm still getting used to getting back into the, the swing of things after taking a little bit of a personal break. So let's start with Sakamoto Ryoma. The, they are a Lancer. Uh, Ryoma is a Lancer specifically. The has one quick, two arts, two buster, five hits on quick, four hits on arts, four hits on buster, five hits on extra. The first skill is the Dragon Reformation A. Increases party's arts performance and crit dam and party's crit damage for three turns, and then includes an overcharge of party's MP by one stage for one time, three turns. 20% to arts crit damage is 30% on so cooldown of six. His second skill is the White Orochi of Takachiyo Chiho A minus. Charges on MP gauge, increases on buff removal resistance for three turns, and then grants self debuff immunity for three turns. 50% to the MP and the buff removal resistance is 100% on a cooldown of 6. His third skill is the Amasakahako Dual B. An increase to arts and buster performance along with gaining crit stars for uh, every turn for 3 turns. 30% to arts and buster and 10 uh, star regeneration on a cooldown of 6. His passive skills are Magic Resistance C+, plus Riding EX, Shapeshift Orochi A, uh, which is an increase to Critical Attack Chance Resistance and also Crit Damage. His third skill is an Anti-Alter Ego Attack Damage Aptitude, and his Noble Phantasm is the Ryo Watatsumi no Haro Wo Yuki, My Dear, Go Conquer the Oceans of Watatsumi. Rank EX, Anti-Army, Hits Three Times, It's Arts. Increases on defense by 50% for one turn, activates first, deals damage to all enemies, 450% at MP level 1, and if you get him all the way to MP level 5, it's 750%, and then he increases his own MP damage for three turns, this activates first, this is uh, charges 20% at charge level 1, and if you get him all the way to the final charge level, it's 40%, and that is Ryoma. Ryoma's really good. Um, I like Ryoma a whole bunch. Um, I have him, and I've been using him pretty off and on uh, in the game as I go along. The thing that's nice is that because he has a 50% um, NP up, that really helps a whole bunch if you're maybe a little bit more... Mm, what's the right word for it? It's nice on our arts unit, even though it can feel a lot of the time like it's overkill, because usually two Castorias is enough, but maybe you don't have two Castorias, and maybe you only have someone like... Mm, maybe like a Lady Avalon or maybe one of the lower free to play option that you can use with a friend Castoria kind of go in there. It makes it nice. It means the 50% will help get them up there to a higher amount compared to a lot of other ones. But I think a lot of uh, arts units have that just in case. Uh, he also has some nice abilities that make him a very good looper. And if you ever got him in a chance to... Mm, that's not the right way of saying it. If you were ever in a situation where you wanted to use him in a challenge quest, you would be able to. The second skill here that he has uh, has a very nice effect, which makes him um, not only gives him debuff immunity, but also makes it so that they can't remove his buffs as well. And a lot, a lot of enemies will <laughs> start removing buffs. You can probably thank Castoria for that, because the only way to get rid of her... Um, anti-purge defense is to remove it so we got a lot more removal because of that but i think he's a very uh good unit he's a very he's probably one of the better for arts the problem is is that there's actually there's a couple problems with him that are kind of outside of his domain and dominion i think Problem one, there's actually a lot of good four-star Lancers that you can use as opposed to him. Like, for example, a lot of people have Melt built up because they love Melt. So in that case, it's like, well, is he that much more stronger than Melt that I would use um, 
melt over him like summer melt the answer is i kind of really depends <laughs> maybe if you're mp1 melt yeah you'd probably end up being stronger but if she's at mp5 and you've invested a whole bunch then yeah no likely not but even outside of her there's a lot of other really good arts lancers and then the bigger issue also is um let's say you were just summoning most recently for summer ibuki summer ibuki is so good that you don't really need <laughs> any other arts unit unless for whatever reason you're fighting an entire team of for looping purposes i should say for specifically looping unless you are specifically fighting against an entire team of foreigners which you would not have bonus attack against in which case you would want to use someone else but even if that was the case you would not use ryoma so if you have a, a summer ibuki it also makes it kind of hard to justify him um Unless you are specifically a person who goes out of their way to try and use as many of their units as possible. But if you're just someone who's like, I want someone to get this done quickly and effectively, Summer Buki most likely will always be your case if you have her. Uh, the other thing is, in, as far as Lancers go, he doesn't have to deal with this the same way the Busters do, but uh, Melusane does exist. And she, if you have Melusane, you already have her built up for Buster. She's so effectively good, it really means that you don't need any other form of Lancer unless you want to specifically use a Arts Lancer. And even though they're not the same type, Melusane is just that good. That's kind of the only problem with Ryoma is that he's he's a, he is extremely good, and I like a lot of the stuff he does. It's just that you can say that for a lot of Lancers, and if you already have one of those built up, it makes it very hard to justify him. But if you don't have one of those built up, and you like Ryoma a whole bunch, your dude will be good. You'll you'll be able to do exactly what you want. It's just that you have to look at your box and specifically see, do I have one of these Lancer units? Can I go there and kind of go from there? I think I'll actually have, I'll have a video up just to see um, some gameplay from him in a little bit. I was going to record it with it today, but <sighs> stuff happened. So <laughs> that's Ryoma. Wish you the best of luck. I really do love uh, Ryoma and Oreo over here. Um... Oreo, I think, first of all, Paco did some amazing art for every single one of these. Just like, oh, just looking at this is enough to make me go, oh, that's the, this is the enough reason why. If you look at this picture and you go like, I, oh, I don't want this unit, then I don't know what to do with you. Go, go somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> it really is funny that it kind of comes down to it is that some people will look at the stats and they'll be looking at the brother game metagame and they'll be like, mm, I don't know how to justify it. The only justification I needed was looking at this form, and that was enough for me to go like, hell no, I need this guy when he comes out, and thankfully I was able to get him, and I'm happy I have him, and I use him whenever I can. But that's uh, Ryoma, and speaking of a unit that's very similar to that, we'll go to Lee Shawin, who is a story lock unit, which is a lot like being limited, but with more, <laughs> more hassle for it for some reason. <laughs> Lee Shuen, he's an assassin. Uh, he has a whole bunch of AKAs because he's been in so many like random side story things. Um, AKA the Royal Guard Chef, the Massage Expert, the Old Lead Security Guard, the Captain of the Guard, the Lee Shuen of No Second Strike. Man has a lot of different names. He's an assassin, he has one quick, he has two arts, two buster, four hits on quick, two hits on arts, one hit on the buster, and five hits on extra. His first skill is the Chinese Martial Arts Bai Quan. Uh, bai Xiong? No, no, no. That's how I, I remembered someone telling me how to pronounce the uh, QI, but that's just a random Q. That's a IQ. I was thinking of something else. Chinese Martial Arts A++++. Ignores invincibility for one turn. Increases on crit damage for one turn. 100% up to crit damage on a cooldown of 5. His second uh, skill is the Spear Boundary Zenith A-. Grants self-evasion for one turn. Increase on crit star absorption for one turn. Gain crit stars, 500% to absorption. The crit stars are 15 on a cooldown of six. His third skill is the intersection of yin and yang, uh, B. Increases his own attack for one turn. Further increases his own attack for three turns and then grants self debuff immunity for one turn. The attack up for the first one is 30%. The additional one is 20% and that is on a cooldown of six. His one passive skill is Veteran A+, which is just an increase to Arts Performance by 8% and an increase to Crit Star Generation Rate. Uh, his third skill is an Anti-Lancer Attack Damage Aptitude because trust no one, not even yourself. And his Noble Phantasm, which upgrades after an Interlude 2, is the War or Da, the No Second Strike. Anti-Unit, rank nothing, hits a single time, deals a damage to one enemy, 150% chance to instant kill them. Here's the note if you want to see the instant kill chance. It's an insane amount of instant kill on it, though. 
The MP damage at 1 is 1,200, and if you get him all the way to MP level 5, it's 1,800, and then he reduces one enemy's defense for three turns. This activates first. Charge level 1, it's 20%. At the final charge level, it is 40%, and he also has a couple different um, costumes, which is him without the glasses, and him without the coat, I believe. No, both of them are just him without the glasses. Depending on what your style of old man Lee is. Personally, I like him with the glasses, but I also like him with the coat. I think actually coat look is the best for him. That is Lee Shuen. This is an extremely easy unit to talk about. Because, do you like dealing a lot of damage in one go, and then that's it? <laughs> then Lee Shuen is for you. Otherwise, he's not for you. He literally has no... <laughs> his one... He has like... He grants himself an evasion for one turn. But literally almost all his skills are basically like, yeah, this last the one turn, this last one turn, even this is increase of 20% is nothing. This is more like I have a single turn and I plan to kill them this single turn and that's it. If this sounds like a unit for you, then Alicia Wynn will do you perfectly fine. He does he is able to do a lot of damage, but again, it is with the it is with the caveat that it is, is exactly for one turn. Um, so that means it will require you to be a little bit, <laughs> it will require you to be really sure you want to be using a unit that is just like, no, I'm all in for this single turn and he's going to do it. And then if you want to get him up and running again, you have to wait a single turn again <laughs> and do it again, which in this case, it would be like, what, six turns to get fully everything. This will come back, but obviously you want to make sure you have this. And then even then for this one single turn, you want to make sure that he has his crit damage up. And the make it no doubt with Lady Avalon now, especially with Lady Avalon increasing crit damage and stuff like that, he's going to be able to do a lot of damage. It's just, that, it's just that, again, like I said beforehand, you have one turn, and then after, if the enemy is not dead in that one turn, or you did not do a significant amount of damage, you're gonna have to wait, or or they had another break bar, you have to wait another turn, and then when that turn comes again, then you'll be able to go for him. Now, he's not, like, completely useless outside of that one turn, but it is something to keep in mind of, like, no, this one, you're basically looking for that one turn. You have to make sure that all the cards are in the right place, that you can take full advantage of the crit damage, and this, that you can take advantage of the crit star, that you have enough uh, crit stars for that single turn. Everything that you need to plan and think about, it all comes down to that one turn. And if that sounds like a unit, these kind of units can be super fun. Like, um, like I was talking about in Hijikata a while back. Hijikata requires a very specific playstyle to get the most benefit of them. And I did a most recent challenge quest video where I did use Hijikata again, and I did have a whole lot of fun. There were instances where he took like a single kick to the jaw and he went down completely, dude, from EO. But there were also super fun turns where I was able to do what his specific gimmick was and i was playing in a different way of ago and i was enjoying it so you have to come into with uh old man lee in that mindset now even with all that said it would be nice if they maybe maybe gave him just a little bit more damage it is funny just because it's like yeah the 150 percent chance of insta kill will make it so that sometimes like yo that just won't happen sometimes but i don't know that's old man lee Thank you very much for watching the video, everyone. I will be back to talk about... Well, thankfully, there will be that Ryoma video. The only reason the Ryoma video won't go up is if they announce that the Lost Belt um, 5 thing is going to start soon, in which case I'll then do a video going over that. Otherwise, I expect to do Ryoma. And I expect to get back into the groove of making videos again after taking a break for mental reasons. Until next time, everyone, I wish you guys the best of luck if you're summoning, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace.